This crowd is ready as we get set for the World Series. Game one is next. into the ballpark happy to have you with us the world series on mlb the show coming up it's the los angeles dodgers going up against the new york yankees alongside chris singleton i'm john shambi there may be no better atmosphere in all of baseball than game one of the fall classic singing lots of excitement to get this thing started yeah, and the players feel that just as much as the fans. You're down there with goosebumps, and these players are just trying to stay in the moment. But I'll tell you, for the home team especially, it's so hard not to be emotional and hyped up with all the energy in this building right now. And on the other side, of course, you're looking to swing home field advantage your way with an all-important opening win on the road. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now, and today's starting pitcher, Carlos Rodon. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. We does he have a feel for, for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Chris Taylor leading things off and takes a strike. That's in there, and the count is 0-2. And he struck him out. And there's one down. Came after him with the fastball on it, too. And that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously. And right there, he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Now it's Mookie Betts. Close one. Doesn't get the call. Ball one. Ball for a strike. Close, but called a ball. And yeah, that's ball two. I think he wanted that call in the upper part of the zone, but just didn't get it. Now he's just trying to get a better feel for how much it missed, so he can adjust his sights just a little bit. One down, base is empty. That one misses, and that's ball three. Foul ball. One out, base is empty. Bounce to the left side. Throw on to Rizzo, yep, and Betts is gone. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Two out spaces empty. Very high with that one. And the count is one and one. And another ball. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, a great grab on the dot. Nicely done for the out. That was a great job of doing the math. 
left. He had the perfect angle. Diving stop completes the play, and that ends the inning. Back in New York, and on the hill, Michael Kopech. How about a report on him, Chris? They're going to start this one with the opener because of the matchups. Very favorable. I think we're going to see him empty the tank with really good fastball velocity to try to retire these first three hitters. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Labor Torres up to hit. The second base. Labor Torres. The pitch. That catches the ball. in for a strike. Cold night tonight, Krug, and that's a pretty fun fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creep it into my mind right now. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Here's Juan Soto. Big time power. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Good pitch down around the knees. You want to be there all game. In a park like this, a pop-up sometimes will carry out. Torres gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Checks his swing. Appeal to third. And that's ruled a swing. It's a strikeout. Aaron Judge at the plate. Pitch misses, okay. and it's one to know. That one in triple digits. Oh, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. To short, could be two. Over to Kike. On to Freddie. Double play. 0-0 zero, zero after one from Yankee Stadium. Inning number two when we get back on the show. Set for the start of the inning. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Freddie Freeman. Freeman getting to start at first, batting in the cleanup spot, and he was a second round pick back in 2007. Rodon back to work. In there at the knees, we go wrong. The strategy around starting pitchers in the postseason, it's really changed in recent years. Managers are pulling starters earlier, making a strong bullpen essential for a championship team. That one way outside, and the count is one and two. Yeah, I think with starting pitchers, they're not going as deep in the postseason because managers aren't willing to let them get knocked around and put a game out of reach. Most skippers have a quicker hook this time of the year. Chisholm calls it in, and there's one away. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Game one of the World Series here tonight, and all he's hoping is that the success that he's had in the first couple of rounds continues. The great thing, you're here in the World Series. Now just try to have fun. The performance has been outstanding, and why should it stop now? How do they cool him off? 
Well, they're going to be extremely careful with him. I doubt he's going to get much to hit today, but when he does, be careful because he can hit it a long way. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire singing. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching, but you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down, so we'll see how it goes in this one. Rodon ready. Here comes. Not no, close with that one. And the count's even at two. Second inning here. No score. No. Just missed. Really good take, Rainbow. especially with two Great. strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away. One down, base is empty. And he walked him. Corner, ball four. Thank you, well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. The hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here's Kike Hernandez. Throw to first. No, he's and he's back strike. in safely. Run around the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw safe. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets into scoring position. The Dodgers looking to strike first here in game one. And yeah, the slider just ball, misses. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, Peter knows he's going to have to swing it. Man, it's second. That's the third Chisholm. On to first. He's out. Two out. That is that is. The third base, number 13. Max Muncy at the dish. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Yeah. Splits the plate. Oh, yeah. yeah, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing oh. that early in the count. Up and in at one and one. Two outs. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Left hand hitter waits. That one is upstairs. It's a good take. Swings and misses. Struck him out. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on base. Now to the bottom of the second. No score. Here in New York, and here is John Carlos Stanton. His home run numbers stand out, Chris. Nobody has hit more in his team. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. Outside low, and that's ball one. Just missed. Got to be real careful here. 2 0. -oh. He's hunting for his pitch. The wind to kick the 2 0. -oh. No, that's a ball. Freedom. And there's the automatic. Take it all the way on 3 0 right there. And as a hitter, you're saying, why couldn't I get that pitch earlier in the count when I'm looking to swing? And there's a foul ball. And a 3 2. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a pitch. Good plate okay. appearance there. Able to take the walk. You know, Borg, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight discipline. 
Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. And that's in for a strike. And now it's even up. Stanton gets his lead at first with nobody out. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. That misses. And it's two and two. Chase that time. That good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Nobody out. Runner at first. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Righty to the plate. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Gassed it right by him. And here is Anthony Rizzo. That misses the zone. And that is ball one. The pitch. Grounder might be two. Hernandez. Rojas for one. Their second double play already. This one ends the second inning. Nothing doing here this half. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. The batter now will be Will Smith. So far, the playoffs have not been kind to him. But tonight, a chance to start anew. So much of this game is mental. He's just got to tell himself, I'm here. I've worked hard all year. Go out, have fun. Trust your ability. You know, Siggy, there are some people that say they feel more pressure actually in the league championship series than the World Series because they know this is it. I could totally see that because, you know, you get to the World Series. Ah, oh, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. You know, Boog, you always say how important it is to have a good feel for the game. I, I say after the game, you step into the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. That to right. That's down. One hops off the wall. Bro comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the DH, Chris Taylor. Golden opportunity right here. And fouled off. Pitches outside. One ball, one and a big swing and a miss. Really going up through here. Three. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. In time. And a drop third strike leads to the first half. But no advance from the runners. Well, they get a big strike out there, and that was a nice job behind the plate to complete the out at first while keeping those runners at second and third. That could have turned out way worse for the defense. And now it's Mookie Betts. First offering, and it just misses. Sets. 
and oh, deals. Got a good eye there. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Base hit, one run is in. Now it rolls down into the corner. Headed for the plate. The relay. And he's out. Did a great job of making that a close play at the plate with an excellent slide. Made the catcher work to get out there and put down the tag. The throw was on the money, and that's what made the difference. Big time player cut down a run. And now Teoscar Hernandez. 0 for 1 so far. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Teoscar Hernandez hits one out. His second home run of the series, and they add a pair. It's 3-0. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. So two down. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. He's 0 for 1. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball. No strike. The lefty fires. That one missed. Rodon, maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Freeman will take his base. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, well, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Rodon fires. And it's fouled away. Already three runs across in the frame here in game one of the World Series. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now 3-0. This is the World Series on the show. Back at Yankee Stadium as we go to the last of the third. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. As he turns on the rubber, here with that good live arm delivers. Fastball for a strike. 0-1. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And it skips in the dirt. Now a check swing at the 1-1. One -one. Look down to first, and yes, he offered at it. And that one just missed off the outside edge. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Got it by him for the K. And next for New York, Austin Wells. And first offering is fouled off.
Right-hander kicks, deals. Inside, just missed. One ball. He never One moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And the righty deals. That one finds the zone. Now one and two. The Dodgers leading by three here in the last half of the third. Misses. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a ball popped up. Hernandez has it sized up. Calls it in for the out. Batting none. No left field. Here's Alex Verdugo. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first, and Verdugo is set down. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Yanks held in check. They trail in this one, 3-0. Game one of the World Series. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Kike Hernandez. The pitch. And that's outside. Ball one. You know, these Dodgers do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Way out front for strike two. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. 0-1 now. And that's in for a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there are two down. Two out. Space is empty. And here's the catcher, Will Smith. That one down the line. And it finds its way through for a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Everything came together for him. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Miguel Rojas at the plate. They say you win. No ball. One straight. Smith leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offer in there for a strike. Oh, oh two. Action in the pen down there. Tim Mesa getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Holmes also throwing. Line drive. And there's a hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Here comes Chris Taylor. And there's the strike. Runners on first and third, two away. Top half of inning number four. Close one doesn't get the call. One and one. A little out front there as he swings through it. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Swing and a miss, and that is that. 
No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. And midway in the fourth, it's the Dodgers three and the Yankees nothing. Here at New Yankee Stadium go. in the Bronx. Now it's the second, the second baseman, baseman. Glaber Torres. Torres. The right hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Hernandez makes the grab one down. Now the designated hitter. Juan Soto down. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at ball. game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. The 1 0. Oh. Just missed. The Dodgers leading by three. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. That one misses, and it's 3 0. And that's, that's too high, high. Ball, ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's now been part that. of his career that's since day one. one. Aaron. And now, big number 99, Aaron yeah. Judge. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. That one catches the zone, and it's on one. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. What a consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. One ball. Oh, right to the backstep. And now a man into scoring position. Well, that right there erases the chance at the inning ending double play. So good job on the bases to move up on the wild pitch. Changes the outlook of the inning in a pretty big way. Not even close there. Two balls, two strikes. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And a pitch. And Thank ball you, four. And Judge takes his walk. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. That one fouled off. The 0-1. Hit in the air, center field. Edmund in position. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. And up next for New York, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Struck out swinging his first time. And yeah, there's a ball. Okay. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. And another ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Edmund going back on this one. To the warning track, makes the catch. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Dodgers three and the Yankees nothing. And 
And we're back. We go to the top of the fifth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. In for a strike. And a count one and two. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Foul ball still a one and two count. Turns and fires to Betts. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. He's already homer here in this one. Hernandez measures six feet two inches, 215 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Bounce to third. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So a man aboard now with one away. The first base is number five. Freddie Freeman up to the Freddie. dish. He's all for one. There's a strike. Hernandez, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Here's the pitch, run around the goal. There's a ball. Throw to second, and he's out. You know, something that's often overlooked in a caught stealing situation is just that catcher's footwork. These guys work so hard on just every aspect, receiving the pitch, but then also getting it into a position to get off a quick throw. Right there, that was perfect execution, and it allowed him to get the throw down to second in time. Two strikes. The line to kick the pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. To the right side. And that one handled. Sends it to first. That's the third out. In the Bronx, go, go. bottom of the Anthony. inning, Anthony Rizzo the steps to the play. Anthony Rizzo. Popek back to work. That's out to center field. Pulls it in on the run. And yeah, there's one away. Now got it. Not sure. Anthony. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Pitch misses. 1 and 0. Oh. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Shohei Otani up and loosening in the pen. Honeywell also getting ready. There's a strike. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. And now two and one. One strike. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. This one popped up, and that's a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. And another ball. Got him swinging. The catcher, number 28. And now the catcher comes up to him. Austin Wells. Glide out his first time.
Fastball in for a strike. It's 0 1. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's a tap hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Yep, Breaking ball, and that got him. Now, Boog, I'll tell you firsthand, retired players, we miss a lot of things about playing the game in our playing days, but getting drilled by a pitch like that usually isn't something we talk about. Verdugo stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Two outs. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Big time jam right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. The pitch. Got him looking. Inning over. The Yanks lead one. Still down 3-0. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Tim Meza. Pretty now tight game, so they're looking for quality game. pitches out of him right Number here. Got to do his best to keep the yeah. score right where it is. And yeah, here comes we Tommy Edmond. The center field is number 25, Tommy Edmond. And a pitch. That's in there. On one. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Mark Leiter Jr. getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Heel getting loose as well. The pitch. Out to short. Volpe. Slings to first. One up, one down. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Now, now, All on the ground. Nice amazing. ground out. Kike. Here's Kike Hernandez. And that one fouled off. And now the lefty. Strike two. Oh, two. That one way inside. Next pitch is outside. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Two outs, base is empty. Max Muncy steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boo, light tower power. That's right. He swings and fouls one off. And yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. And that one almost hit him. Way inside, gets out of the way. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3 1 count. That's in there. Counts full okay. three and two. Outside, and that is ball four. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. Oh, 
Foul ball there. Muncie off the first with two away. Way inside. Kicks and deals. And that's down and away. And this is inside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. On the ground. Jazz tosses the first, and they get the out on Smith. And that'll do it. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Dodgers three, and the Yankees nothing. Bottom of the sixth He's inning. Going. Here's Glaber yeah, Torres. The second baseman. Laser. Line and pitch. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0-1. You know, these Yankees need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. You really can't pin it on one player because we've seen soft contact up and down this lineup. It's time to make some adjustments because this approach is just off. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. That was a well-executed slider away for the strikeout yeah. right there. First two pitches That's filled up the zone good. and got him ahead 0-2 oh. in the count. And at that point, oh, no. he could start expanding the zone as a pitcher. He made him chase and got the quick strikeout. And now it's Juan Soto. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Wastes no time there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. So, man aboard. Now, here is Aaron Judge. All on there. Hater deals. And Judge spoils that one. Fought off foul. Runner at second here, one gone. Way outside, two and two. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Man at second. Got him. And two away now. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit, no, and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Giancarlo Stanton to the plate now. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Movement in the bullpen. Shohei Otani looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. The Dodgers leading by three here in the bottom of the sixth. That one ripped. Edney reaching back towards the wall. And brings it in at the wall. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Dodgers three and the Yankees nothing.
Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Mark Leiter Jr. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Miguel Rojas. Miguel Rojas. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. Now that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Rizzo. He takes it on his own, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Here comes Chris Taylor. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. And that's downstairs and outside. Next pitch in for a strike, but it got even a one. Well, that's really the money spot, down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. And strike two. So it's up there for play, three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Next pitch misses way outside. Wouldn't chase that time. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from at bat to at bat. Hey. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. Oh, nice job right there. He struck him out twice. The pitch before looked like it was strike three. Doesn't get the call. Bears down. Throws another quality pitch for the strikeout. Two outs, space is empty. Here's Mookie Betts. Swing it a foul straight back. Two down, nobody on. Here in the late stages of game one. Line drive, base hit. Nice line okay. drive to the whole side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And next for L.A., Teoscar Hernandez. His two-run homer back in the third was an important swing of the bat in this one. Yeah, there's no doubt he helped set the tone fairly early and certainly part of the reason why they've got the lead right now. So that's two straight two out hits. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. And here is Freddie Freeman. Pitch is in there. That's strike one. Two on, two outs. Now Freeman drives one. Deep to right. Stan going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Dodgers strand a couple, but they lead it 3 nothing. Back in the Bronx. Set for the last Four half eight. of the seventh. Here's the third Four baseman, eight. Jazz Chisholm Jr. The line of the pitch. The Yankees looking to rally. Righty delivers. 
This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with a mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. And a foul ball. Notice how they're swinging too early or too late. That's a timing problem. They need to guess right on a few of those pitches, and I mean make an educated guess. And that's too high. Well hit the other way. That one going back and foul. Good eye right there. Now in this three ball, ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Outside, and that is ball four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Go ahead and make the team up with the free pass. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The pitch. And that's in the dirt. One strike. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for a second. Pitch is low. Save. That's a stolen base. May have made the difference right there. It's kind of hard to say though. It's a little tougher for a catcher with a left-handed hitter in the box, and that hitter does not have to move at all to help you out. He just got under the throw and it took off on him a little bit. And a pitch. Throw on to Freeman and one away in the bottom of the seventh. How about shortstop Anthony Volpe? Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts? That's off the mark, and it's 1 0. That one missed. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. And here it comes. That one finds the zone. Now two balls and a strike. Nasty 2 0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. And a pop up right side, foul territory. They got it for out number two. The captain, number 28. And stepping in for the Yankees, Austin Wells. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Runner at second, two down. Here the bottom of the seventh. Just missed. Left-hand hitter waits. Sharp grounder. That's through for base hit. Coming home. The throw in. The tag, and he's in there. What an aggressive secondary lead. That ball was smoked to left. He the score from second. Not only great speed, but great instinct as well. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Michael Kopech. Done for the night. Two-run ball game as he heads for the dugout, and we'll be back with a new pitcher. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Daniel Hudson. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. 
Runner at first with two away. Alex Verdugo digs in now. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Well, with both starters out of the game, this quickly becomes a bullpen game, and this is something we see more and more in the game today, especially in the postseason. Next offering upstairs. Wells, the runner at first with two gone. And there's a ball. single pushes across a run it's now a 3-1 ball game you're watching the world series on the show welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight Luis Hill And at the plate for the Dodgers, Tommy Edmond. The center field, number 25, Tommy Edmond. The wind of the pitch. Heel. In his second season, he features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, and he works in a slider. Up the middle, Torres tosses the first, and that's one away. But the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Second base. Here's the second baseman, Enrique Hernandez. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And there's a foul ball. Just off the outside edge. And the count even one and one. Movement in the Yankees pen. Clark Schmidt getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Canely getting cranked up as well. The pitch. And it's fouled away. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the eighth. Strikes for the third straight at bat. Third time he struck out in this now one, back. and definitely third, an individual three, performance you man. want to flush. He just hasn't three. looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Muncie, the next okay. to hit, takes outside. Swing and a foul straight back. Just missed. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Next pitch is outside. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Three and two. Payoff pitch. And a ground ball to first. Takes it himself. And the Dodgers are set down in order. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Dodgers three and the Yankees one.
Bottom of the eighth. Leading now it's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. The second baseman. Glaber Torres. The pitch. Swing and a miss. 98 on the gun. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Right hander kicks deals. That one fouled off. At the belt and fires. That misses. And it's one and two. And he deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now the number two hitter, Juan Soto, one for two. Soto. Fastball for a strike. I want to say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead. Oh, a good hitter as well. There's a little bit more confidence to move through the at bat. One down, base is empty. Nope. Looked oh. like it was a little bit up. Ooh. Strike on the inside corner. The Dodgers leading by two here the bottom half of the eighth inning. No. And now two and two. Good location, good take. Sometimes you want the hitter to prove he can lay off that pitch. to second snagged on the bounce throws the first two up two down now got it center fielder Aaron Judge. it's Aaron Judge now a strikeout and a walk well he's always a threat even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good Swings through that. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop at the plate. Pitch misses there, and it's a ball to strike. Ripped on the ground a second to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Yanks held in check. Score holds. It's 3 1. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the catcher, Will Smith. The right hander back to work. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Next offering misses, and the count is one and one. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. The punch out there. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Yeah, that's a tough pitch to stay on. And you don't want to get beat inside. And as you see that pitch continue to run away from you, by the time it's in the catcher's mitt, you think it's a ball off the plate away. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Miguel Rojas. And that drops in for a strike.
This one in the air. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, snags it for the second out. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Back to the top of the lineup, and now Chris Taylor, 0 for 4 with four strikeouts. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One strike. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. a solid inning so far in relief. Getting through this inning only down two can give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And another ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Nothing across here this half. Onto the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Dodgers three and the Yankees one. Pitching change here, Carlos Carrillo. I think closer has to be one of the now, toughest jobs in baseball. Then we see a no, pretty no, high no, turnover no. rate because no, of it. No, no. Every outing no, seems no, to be no. high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Leading off. John Carlos Stanton at the plate. The right fielder. John Carlos Stanton. The pitch. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Edmund in position. Makes the catch, and there's one down. Third base, number 13. He's two outs away. Jazz Chisholm Jr. will hit next. Ground ball left side. Backs it down. He's in there. And now the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo. Down to ball here, rolls foul. <laughs> Tying run at the plate. Fastball for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Left hand batter waits. Oh. And ball one. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Move to first. Chisholm back in standing. The tying run at the plate. Bows it off, still one and two. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Yankees with only one out remaining. Oh, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just now eats him up. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. So they're down to their final out. And next for New York, Anthony Volpe. Lifted to left, and that should do it. They'll squeeze it for the final out, and the Dodgers take game one on the road.